Now say, hello everyone, welcome back. I promised that we would enter this cave and we're gonna enter this cave. And Zenrod is also here and he's here to see us go inside the cave. It would be really funny if you walked in the cave and then cut the video. <laughs> cut the video so that there's no cave. By the way, um, we're not using No, it would flash. be really funny if the episode ended right when you walked in and then we started another Aw, oh, damn it, that would be really good. That would have been such a good job. Alright, everyone, this has been another episode of Pokemon. We'll see you next time. <laughs> no, unfortunately. I have... For the, the people that watch, I should not tempt fate with screwing over the very the, the very dedicated that they <laughs> currently do. This is a shout-out to all of them. Uh, Zen, I'm pretty positive I can walk through this entire cave without Flash. I will do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So, uh, back in the day, I actually used to never use Flash in this cave. Why? I, just, I didn't see a point to it. I can see. I can see exactly where to go. Yeah, the walls are lit up, which is still weird. Yeah, that's the thing, is that, um, if you use enough... Uh, intuition. You know exactly where to go, so I'm just gonna go. I don't know what trainers I'm gonna fight. That's gonna be a pain, but it should be fine. I think this is a ruined maniac or something. Uh, it's just a regular Poke fan. Poke maniac. Uh, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna have to fuck up this Cubone. <laughs> Rip. Rip. We haven't even gotten to Lavender Town yet, though, so at least the, the horrible Cubone emotions haven't started. No, not yet. I like how in the the remake for this game they have made um they have figured out a way to just make Cubone sadder and sadder every single time it goes on. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, dude, it's so awful in the remake. I expect. I hate it so. Oh, man, it's it's a bummer for sure. I, by the he next literally time, literally reaches out. And right as he's about to touch her hand, she fucking, like, dematerializes. Yeah, that's the part that goes, like, real, like, that's fucked up. You didn't have to show me that. I didn't come here to feel. I came here to Pokemon. <laughs> um, what I needed. The other good thing was the, um... I was gonna say, the next time they remake, um... Uh, Red and Blue... They're just going to sh show us the shooting of the Marowak mom. <laughs> like, I feel like that's the only way that this is going. <laughs> They're just going to kill the, the Marowak. They totally are. <laughs> I'm faster than this goddamn Slowpoke. If Chase was slower than a Slowpoke, I was about to actually literally give up on Chase. It is tough, because, I mean, he's a fucking can't evolve in Pikachu. Yeah, I mean, it's fair enough. The Pikachu in the new games is pretty good, though. See, look. We're all ready Yeah, because he's max stats and he's got exclusive moves. Also told you. <laughs> I totally just know where to go in the dark. Oh, Onyx. This dude's actually pretty tough to get in, the, in this area. So I think we should try and catch him. Yeah, he actually is hard to find. The funny thing is, like, later on, he's pretty... Oh, never mind. That kill brought to you by Ray-Ban Sunglasses. <laughs> Alright. Now here's another Pokemon trainer. It's dumb how my memory works, right? That I can just remember exactly where everything it is. It's a little unusual. Let me tell you, I played this game a lot. And that's why I always feel justified in my criticisms of any Pokemon game is that I played these fucking games a lot. Like, more than any one person should. <laughs> you have more Pokemon under your belt than is legally, healthily recommended. Exactly. So when I talk bad about Ruby and Sapphire, it comes from a place of just pure disappointment in Ruby and Sapphire. I didn't yeah, I'm not play a fan of Ruby and Sapphire uh, what what would you say? Say it again. Sorry. I said I'm also not a fan of Ruby and Sapphire. I just don't get it. I we're I don't want to get super into it because I feel like eventually 
down the road, we're gonna have to play that game. I keep forgetting fucking common is a weak to psychic types. <laughs> he sure is. Oh my god, if only Chase knew fucking Thunderbolt. <laughs> this we is have a, hell. a TM, why won't you just give it to him? Then he wins. If we teach Chase Thunderbolt, he gets to win. That's why. All right, fair enough. I, now, I mean, it just seems like it would save us a lot of time and dead comment. I mean, is there any other Pokemon we would teach Thunderbolt to? No, unless you get rid of Chase. All right, that's not happening. So I'm gonna have to bring you in. We're gonna have to see. You Imagine begin. if we were playing this for cam and it's chases his pikachu and we ditched chase for like zappos <laughs> <laughs> by the way cam we are upgrading chase <laughs> we're upgrading your dad to zapdos and then we'll name zapdos chase 2 <laughs> electric boogaloo <laughs> better chase yeah, but, uh, better, cooler so Chase. Is, what does Cotton name his kid? Good Hank? It's gonna be Good Chase. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna name him Good Hank. Don't name him Good <laughs> Hank, because then it'll make it seem like I'm Bad Hank. Well, you burnt my burger, didn't you, Bad Hank? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you sass me, boy. God, I... <laughs> Cotton is such an amazing, shitty old man. He really is, in a good, good way. It's funny that he is maybe one of the most likable, unlikable characters out there. Yeah, he's got the Dio effect where it's like he's unlikable, but it's so fun that it's okay. Yeah. I also think one episode ends with him straight up murdering a hippie. Does it? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. It's the one where Luann has her roommates and that's why you never see them again. Remember, uh... The one where Peggy is crippled, and he teaches her to walk again just at the promise that she can dance on his grave when he dies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So good. <laughs> Get up up here, Hank's wife, and dance on my grave. I see what you're trying to do, Cotton. I didn't say I'm not- I'm serious, Hank's wife. <laughs> I also like that he never calls her by her name. It's always Hank's wife. Nope, it's always Hank's wife. And another really good moment. It's such a good burn because it happens at the end of the the ja when they go to Japan. Uh, Bobby wants to say goodbye to his um, Japanese girlfriend, in essence. And um, Conan's talking to him about it, and he says, "Stop the cab." And, he's, and then Hank goes, "What are you doing, Dad?" And, and Conan goes, "You wouldn't understand this, boy. It's about love." And then you see Peggy in the background, <laughs> super pissed. Uh So good. Uh, uh, King of the Hill continues to be fantastic. You should really watch King of the Hill. King of the Hill is, is peak. I love that show. It's so good. It really is one of the best um, animated shows out there. It's so good, it made me forget about the fact that I was about to shit talk Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> King of the Hill spared Ruby and Sapphire. Exactly. If we were going to talk about true, what was what is the king of the hill of the Pokemon series? It is probably gold and silver. And then, I don't know, Ruby Sapphire is like family guy. It's really loved by a lot of people, but it doesn't deserve the love. Yeah, I, I can co-sign on that. I'm not a fan of the whole end. It's just so... It, it, the funny thing is that I did end up liking it a bit more in um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but that's only because it felt like they fixed the game. They finally finished the game that they forgot to finish all those years ago <laughs> you know what upsets me it upsets me that so many people don't like the uh sino games really they don't like sino yeah no yeah. you get a lot of like the uh the poke like I don't, I don't know circle jerk is the right word but when they get all the people who are like, yeah fuck this it's always generation four mm. and it's like i don't know how you can think that after that miserable generation yeah the they it Three is real is a real big bummer. Like it feels wrong to just shit talk it while we're playing another game, but it really is just like at the time 
when I played it, it was the first time, it was the first time as a kid I felt disappointed in a game. Like, I don't understand how those other people played that as a kid and did not feel the exact same way. But maybe it's all coming from, like, competitive people, and those are the people- Well, no, actually, you're also competitive, right? So, that doesn't- Not really anymore. But the idea is that you were in- some weird complaints, they're like, ugh, the game runs so slow, and it's like, what the fuck? It's Pokemon has run slow its whole existence, we fuck care. Yeah. That was also them trying to work out the DS at that time, right? Yeah. Like, a lot of the problems it has, it eventually just fixed. Like, the when you had to, like, save when you went and went left and entered a PC and stuff like that. Right. They all fixed that, like, later down the road. It was all stuff they were trying to work out because the Pokemon company takes forever to actually get a Pokemon game up and running. Like, legit style. I'm about to save again. <laughs> uh, but we'll keep going <laughs> for this game. This is all the hot... Oh, Machop. I'm gonna totally try and catch him. Jex, can you not kill this Pokemon, please? Can you not with your bubble? I, I don't know if he's even good, so... Can you hold back? Just like, okay. We might be able to catch this guy. We got this. Um, Yeah, it's totally just something like... I have to hear like the actual complaints from them. Because the second they say this is one of the best ones, I immediately just tune it out. Because I know I'm talking to a crazy person that can't be reasoned with. You mean if they like, uh... Ruby and Sapphire? Gold and yeah. Silver the most? Yeah, or yeah, Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. Gold and Silver are fine, I don't know why I said that. Those are good games. Yeah, they are good games. Fantastic games. They give you an entire region when you beat it. Uh, they didn't put you in a shitty carnival at the end. <laughs> And then expect you to go like, oh man, isn't this great? Isn't this what you waited for? It's so like, grateful. I, I kind of want to go back to the other places. That, that, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> See, that started the whole like, we're not going back to the other generations. They fucking ruined it for all of us. But to be yeah, fair, they think... want us a hero for that, man. Exactly. He knew that that was a good ass idea. <laughs> And they needed to figure out a way to do it. I'm still waiting for the one Pokemon game that will unite us all and will literally be every single region. And you're just trying to get over like a hundred and something badges. <laughs> we seriously need a Pokemon MMO. I know everybody says, but then you need to style it like, you know, it's like a Warcraft or a Final Fantasy 14 where you just pick the region that you start in. Yeah. And then all the other regions are in the in the game as well and then I, you know there's a lot of ways they could do it i just think that um nintendo's bad with the internet so that's why they don't do it yeah nintendo like what is it with their inability to understand how the future works i don't know it's a it's a japanese wide thing like the, they're just bad by the way this is fistly <laughs> okay fistly was transferred to bill's pc all right, let's keep going. I think we're about to run to a trainer up here. No, I was wrong. All right, there is a trainer up here though. There he is. I'm gonna avoid him. I ain't about fighting in the goddamn Probably dark. Good idea. Hit me with your best shot. We're here to fight the Joan Jets. No, I was <laughs> lied to. It's just another fat ass hiker. All right, that's good for Jax. Oh yeah, he did just get some. There we go. Um, but yeah. And so I can't wait to the day when we get to Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald. Whichever one. They're all different shades of disappointment when you really look at them. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll play Emerald those. Emerald is the, the better disappointment though. If you have to pick one. Hmm. <sighs> I really don't like Team Aqua's original design. They just look like kind of like... I don't like the, the premise of Team Aqua in general. Like, what a dumbass plan. I mean, yes, the, the, the team is also very dumb. Let's not, let's not hide the fact that both Team Magma and Team Aqua are like two dumbasses screaming at each other from across the way, and somehow both dumbasses are wrong. <laughs> yeah, like, what, just what kind of stupid shit... 
They're like, no, there needs to be more land for land Pokemon. Fuck the ocean. And then they're like, no, there needs to be only ocean. Fuck the everyone else. <laughs> but like, what kind of... Like, one wants to live in the Mad Max uh, world, and the other one wants to live in the Waterworld world, and both worlds suck to live in. <laughs> yeah, neither world is good. Like, what's your end game once we get into, like... Uh, like, I want to see an alternate future where one of those motherfuckers actually won. And see how, how good their life is. Because <laughs> I would imagine existence would be unbearable. Not to mention the fact that you'll be killing... Okay, the, the, the water thing also doesn't work because there's water Pokemon that are constantly shooting water out their mouths from nowhere. So water will still be in abundant supply. <laughs> it changes nothing. I also think I dodged a good uh, trainer battle there, but... Also, it's pretty telling that uh, the whole feud in Ruby and Sapphire is fixed by Rayquaza just being like, can you fucking... Can you stop? And that's it. Can you just stop, please? This is so not worth any of my effort. <laughs> and he, he doesn't even stop it in the original game, right? He doesn't stop it in Ruby and Sapphire. But you Because ha you have to get your ass over there to stop it. Only in Emerald do they yeah, actually, like... That they, they, like, leave and then they fight each other or some dumb shit. That's another reason why both Ruby and Sapphire don't feel like complete halves is because it's built on the pr the idea that these two dudes are going to be fighting each other at the end and you only fight one of them. Yep. <laughs> so Emerald is actually at least like makes sense to the story where it's like... Actually, no, that's that's not true. Uh, in the original Ruby and Sapphire, uh, the other one's not in it. Yeah, that's I what I mean. I think when you go to fight... Um, I think when you go to fight, like, in Sapphire, when you go fight Kyogre, mm -hmm. Team Magma is, like, the good guys in that. Yeah, you know, that's what I mean, is that when you play those original games, at the end, you only fight either Groudon, Groudon or, um, Kyogre. It's not, like, an actual meeting of the two people. So it just kind of doesn't Oh, yeah, sense. it's just one, one is the bad guy and one is the good guy. Even though, like, you never stop to think about, like, well, why is this guy... <laughs> better than the other one if they're equally as bad in terms of their ideas it's very bad but in terms of storytelling yeah, I it's I don't like it. it's the worst story ever told in a pokemon game and there's literally no story told in red and blue <laughs> yeah well pokemon like i'm not in it for the story but jesus like when the more you put in and it it sucks it just is a detriment yeah I feel like they've gotten a little bit too... They need to go more like the step that they took for um, the most recent game, where the idea was back on the idea of you just hanging out with your Pokemon a bunch. Because I think that's what's missing from uh, something like... Um, what was the most recent one? I cannot believe I've already forgotten its name, even though it has my favorite professor in it, with Professor Cookie Sorry, or something. Yeah, Sun and Moon is that the idea is that in the beginning they treat like your first Pokemon is like, oh, this is going to be your great friend. And then from there, you don't hear shit from them. <laughs> yep. If they did it more like where they do in um, what they did for um, Pikachu and Eevee, where it's more like, okay, they're interacting with you. You're having a fun time. You're both kind of reacting to it. And you're both just kind of like, this is a fucked up situation that we found ourselves in once again, friend. I think it would be better. But when it's just like here's all these human characters, you're going to lose a lot of people because in essence, it's like, well, why should I care about any of these dudes? Like, I'm Yeah, here for yeah. I don't want Pokemon to be like a JRPG, like, oh, my human party members and the Pokemon are weapons. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't want that. It's not, it's not what I'm here for. And I say that knowing that I'm like one of the, apparently one of the few people that actually like Sun and Moon. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that I love the aesthetic of Sun and Moon a bunch. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Sun and Moon. Yeah. They're the first Pokemon games that I was just like, well, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not playing these anymore. Sun and Moon had maybe one of my favorite scenes where a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's the um, it's the professor in it. I love him so much. And he is literally ba he is basically the main character of that story. <laughs> professor like Kukri or whatever. Yeah, Kukri. Uh, there's a point, you know, you I don't know how far you got. There is literally a point where he dresses up as a mass wrestler. And then he, he... Yes, I did get to that. Where he's just totally like, 
all right, let's go. And everyone's like, I think you're the professor, right? He's like, I have no idea what you're talking about, brother. Keeping up the cave, babe. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I respect that. Yeah, he's That's there was like pretty good. I, I thought he was a pretty good dude. I just feel like if there was more build up to him, as opposed to a lot of like the Nebby stuff, I would have probably liked the story a little bit more. Even though by the end of it, I was pretty okay with it, but that that professor was just so cool, and it just feels like there should have been more of him, especially the way that that game, especially the way the way the Pokemon League kind of shakes out, there should have been more of him. I feel. But there you go. There's some actual legit Pokemon talk in this one. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> in between King of the... <laughs> We're not shit posting in video for. Exactly. Which is what these Pokemon videos are, <laughs> is uh, an excuse for us to just kind of shit post <laughs> while one of us yeah, plays Pokemon. More... And I think with that, I think it's... Oh, shit, that was a really long one. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this. We'll see you next time on the next Pokemon adventure. I'm I gonna hope finish... you made it all the way to the Pokemon criticism before you were like, God, this video is long. Turn that shit off. Yeah, yeah. If you somehow made it for real. If you're like the one of the one of the one million people who like Ruby and Sapphire, I'm sorry. <laughs> you are the uh, global Dokkan fan base. All right, everyone. Goodbye. You're going to keep alienating your, the one potential woman viewer by shitting on all these things. Oh, that would really suck if, if you, you know what, yo if, yo, if you're a girl who really likes Ruby and Sapphire, I'm sorry. I did say Omega Ruby and Alpha <laughs> Sapphire was okay. Uh